Hi, my name is Madhav Sate. Uh, I'm a platform architect at Pivotal. In this session, we're going to learn how do you do create a Spring Boot application, how to create Docker image for a Spring Boot application, how to run the Docker image on a local Docker runtime, and then how do you deploy Docker application on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. The application we're discussing today is for Acme INC. Acme INC provides predictive stock analysis for its customers. In this application, we have a Spring Boot application providing the backing service, and the front end is provided by simple HTML and JavaScript. Before we go ahead and create Docker image, we want to make sure that the application correctly runs. So we're gonna run the application in the IDE, and the application has started successfully on port 8080. If you wanna verify that it runs correctly, application seems to be working fine. As I described earlier, it provides a predictive uh, market intelligence for its customers. It gives you the most recommended stock for the day. Now that the application is correctly de de developed and running, we're gonna go ahead and create Docker image for this application. For that purpose, we're gonna create a folder called Docker within our application folder and copy the application artifact or application jar file to Docker folder. Next, we can go ahead and create a Docker file in this Docker folder. Docker file is a declarative way of describing the image uh, of the Docker container. The first instruction is the location of the base image for this Docker image. We're gonna use OpenJDK version eight based on Alpine file system. Next, we're gonna copy the application from the local file system or the laptop uh, file system to the container file system. We're copying the application jar file to the container jar file in its root folder. Next instruction is to tell container runtime, how do you run the application? In this case, our application is a Java application so we're gonna call Java command with jar flag and the location of the application that we just copied. This, uh, thanks to the base image uh, of JDK, we already have Java installed in this image. So we're just gonna call the Java command with the application and that's the definition of our Docker file. So next step in this process is to go ahead and create an image for this Docker file. We want to check what images we have right now. We don't have any images right now. The next step is gonna be a build Docker image with RM flag and the location of my repository slash name of the image, which is going to be my first boot on Docker and the tag is latest. So with this latest tag, we're gonna create this application on Docker. Uh, I just wanna make sure that all the parameters are correct. Something went wrong as expected. Docker build. All right, so the problem here is that we didn't give the location of the directory. Uh, we need to provide a location of the directory where the Docker file and the application artifact exist. Now we've done that, we have the Docker image created for us, as you can see here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that the image is correctly created. So for that purpose, we're gonna run the Docker image on the local Docker runtime. Docker run, minus D in detached mode, minus P for port mapping, and the name of the repository, and we're gonna run it. But before that, we wanna make sure that the port is released from the IDE, so that the port is available for the Docker container runtime. Looks like the Docker is able to run it. We wanna verify that it is current, correctly running. 
the Docker process, Docker PS command shows the running container, uh, the image it is using, the command it is executing, and also the port mapping. As you can see, the port mapping from the local host uh, ADAD to the container port ADAD is already been done. So we're gonna go ahead and the URL is gonna remain the same. It is gonna be available on local host and port 8080. Uh, now this application is being accessed from within the Docker runtime. It is working correctly. The next step for us is to be uh, gonna be able to access this Docker image from anywhere. For that purpose, this Docker image needs to be available on Docker Hub or some kind of a registry. We're gonna use Docker Hub in this process I don't have any image registered right now here on my Docker Hub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the, uh, this particular image that we have onto the uh, Docker Hub. So now I started pushing the Docker, uh, Docker image from my machine uh, to the uh, Docker Hub repository. Now it is accessible globally. Anybody can go ahead and use this image and try the Spring Boot application in this, uh, in this demo. The next step for us is that we're gonna deploy this Docker container on the Cloud Foundry. For that, we wanna make sure that we are correctly logged in. CF app shows all the applications deployed in the current org and space. And we're gonna deploy the application using CF push command. CF push application name at me predictive stocks and Docker image location is gonna be uh, my first thing would on Docker uh, it is back. So what this is doing right now is that it is gonna pull that image from the Docker Hub. It knows how to pull that image from the Docker Hub. It is gonna deploy that with the desired scale. Right now, I have only asked for one application instance. But with that one application instance, it is gonna deploy the application, create a public route, do the mapping of the route to the application instance, and then uh, make sure that the application remains running. So, uh, after the application is successfully deployed, it tells you the scale and the public route. We're gonna use this public route to make sure that the application got correctly deployed. Well, the application is not only deployed, it's also given you the secured endpoint for the application. All right. Just to make sure that this is not a static response, we're gonna use some other name. For UT also, the same stock appears to be the most recommended stock. Let's see what is the most uh, useful stock for Jonathan. It's the same, same stock. Looks like it's the most promising stock for all people to get rich. Well, that concludes my demo. Uh, in this session, we saw how do you Dockerize a Spring Boot application, how to create uh, Docker, how do you run the Docker application in the local Docker runtime, how do you push the Docker image onto the Docker repository on Docker Hub? And then how do you deploy a Docker application uh, on your Cloud Foundry? Thank you.